Welcome back to Focus on Health. So, dentists have an array of equipments and techniques, of course, that they may use to bring back your smile. One of them being a dental filling. We have a use of bracelets. We have also um, uh, replacing the teeth. And uh, right now, we will be joining uh, Dr. Dr. Sharma once more to just tell us a little bit about what procedure is going to do on the patient that we're having right now. Doc. Hi. Welcome um, back after the break. You. Thanks. Yeah. So um, we have another patient, of course. Yes. Uh, what are we going to do uh, this time round, and uh, why is it important? Okay. We have a young lady here complaining of sensitivity with her teeth. Yes. And uh, she, after examining her, shows there are some decays that she's developed in her tooth, obviously on the sides where we use. Uh, the food to chew from. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically what we'll be doing and I'll be taking you through mm -hmm. are steps of cavity preparation and yes. then restoring the lost tooth structure while uh, at an attempt of removing the decay. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, it includes removing of the decayed or defective tooth structure yes. in a systematic manner with a speed machine mm -hmm. and then uh, replacing the lost tooth structure with a uh, cosmetic tooth, tooth okay. filling material. Okay. Thank you. You can go ahead. Sure. Thank you. Just relax. Put put the. Between the tooth and the tongue. What for? Put the heavy because. And check if there's any decay left there. Mm -hmm. If there's any, then it can lead to progression of dental caries, mm -hmm. even after the filling is done. So that's step one, we've mm -hmm. created the cavity. Mm -hmm. And now will be step two, preparing the cavity for the filling. Step three will be putting in the filling. Okay. okay. Open him up higher. So that's basically we're applying some chemicals mm -hmm. so that the tooth can be ready mm -hmm. for the final filling. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've uh, created the cavity, prepared it for the final filling mm -hmm. and now we're going to do a systematic filling okay. which will be in small fragments at a time. And uh, I, could, I can see a ray there, what's it about, it's, what's it for? It's uh, an advanced uh, filling material mm -hmm. which uses uh, this ultrasonic light mm -hmm. to uh, make it from a paste mm -hmm. to a hard uh, filling material okay. which replaces the tooth structure. Uh, so basically how long does it take for, the, for, the, for, the, for it to harden? Uh, this intermittent exposure, the light is going off, mm -hmm. as you can see at every 5 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, so we take 4 5 second cycles, so basically 20 seconds to harden a segment mm -hmm. of the color. Uh, okay. So we basically put uh, 5 to 6 segments of small small spec segments mm -hmm. to make one big filler ah, okay. because there are some technicalities in the filling material mm -hmm. which happens once they set ah, okay. which can cause uh, discomfort to patients okay. if not done carefully okay 
so once when we feel that we've done the filling properly then we just use our instruments to shape the the surface of the tooth exactly like how a normal tooth is so that uh, with the aesthetics functionality is also maintained okay. so we've done that this is the final uh, curing yeah. or uh, hardening of the material that we're doing uh, after this we'll just check if the patient is comfortable biting on this tooth and then we'll be pretty much done with it yeah? okay. so we think we are done bite your teeth how do you feel can you bite on it proper yeah this could be smaller than those others. Yeah, because we've we've removed the decayed part. So now you're just biting on the filling. Okay. Yeah? Okay. How do you yeah. feel? Well done. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. So yeah, that was the dental filling and of course we have a doctor here to just uh, shed a little bit more light on uh, the procedure itself mm -hmm. and what the after. Uh, so doc, would you just in a nutshell uh, just uh, give us an overview of what the procedure was? Okay, uh, so as I was uh, talking to you while I was doing the procedure, yeah. the, the, the young lady had decayed tooth mm -hmm. and uh, the, the way we have to save the tooth from further damage is by restoration, so yeah. so-called dental fillings commonly. Yeah. Uh, there were basically three steps in this particular cosmetic filling that yeah. we've done. Uh, people nowadays want uh, things to be as natural, mm -hmm. even if it is artificial, yes. they want it as natural mm -hmm. as, the, as a normal tooth would be. So what we did was a, com a composite mm -hmm. cosmetic filling which actually has three steps. Mm -hmm. The first step was just, you know, removing the decayed tooth structure mm -hmm. with yeah. the machine. Second was preparing the cavity so that we can fit the, the, the filling material in it and the tooth structure holds it. Mm -hmm. And then the final stage was obviously the, mm -hmm. the filling. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of course, a uh, question may be asked is how common is, uh, is this or how often do people come in wanting uh, to go yeah. through this procedure like i said it's what people want is the tooth to feel as much natural mm -hmm. as it could be mm -hmm. uh, we had a classic uh, silver filling the black filling mm -hmm. and now we have come to these light curing uh, cosmetic fillings mm -hmm. these things are very common mm -hmm. like uh, i think 60 out of 100 patients would mm -hmm. would want and it's not like what they want it's what is recommended mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so that the root uh, the tooth doesn't you know decay further mm -hmm. and cause more damage mm -hmm. so the tooth is retained with these things functionality is maintained mm -hmm. and with cosmetic fillings uh, the aesthetics are maintained mm -hmm. well. does uh, does uh, does it also have to deal with the sensitivity the tooth sensitivity or that is a totally different thing uh, after the filling, no, there's no sensitivity if it's done right. Mm -hmm. While doing the cavity preparation, that was the first step, mm -hmm. the patient might feel some sensitivity depending on the depth of the decay. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in this particular case, she was very much comfortable with whatever we were doing. Mm -hmm. But in case of sensitivity, we have to take some extra measures mm -hmm. to, to control the sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Once the filling is placed, then the patient is absolutely comfortable. And after that, can the lady go ahead and um, start eating or doing yes. whatever she's doing? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. She can start eating, uh -huh. uh, but I prefer to tell them to be aware of not using that particular side mm -hmm. for at least 24 hours mm -hmm. so that the filling takes its strength, it mm -hmm. sets properly, mm -hmm. and then yeah, we can eat. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what are the do's after? Or so what are the maintenance of uh, of, of, of that particular teeth or that particular side. Mm -hmm. These things are practically maintenance free. Mm -hmm. As much as a person knows that nothing can replace a normal tooth mm -hmm. or a natural tooth, mm -hmm. uh, I think there's nothing they need to take care of except mm -hmm. just keeping that in mind that it's not something mm -hmm. uh, natural. Mm -hmm. It's something that has been placed to substitute the lower structure. Mm -hmm. But you can pretty much eat drink anything with it. Uh, in some cases when it comes out, 
-hmm. it's probably that mm -hmm. you know uh, chewing gums mm -hmm. or some sticky food but not to worry you can always go back to your doctor mm -hmm. and it will be helpful mm -hmm. and uh, this is one of the procedures in um, um, cosmetic dentistry right yes yeah so um, we have a couple will you just um, will you just mention a couple of of, of, of them and, and and also why this is more uh, more common than others uh, yes of course uh, you see cosmetic dentistry basically has a lot of things it has uh, smile corrections, mm -hmm. it has fillings, it has cosmetic fillings, it has veneers. Mm -hmm. This one is more common because we're dealing with lost tooth structure. Mm -hmm. Others, cosmetics, we would say it's more of a person wanting to look more mm -hmm. pleasant mm -hmm. in appearance. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason probably these mm -hmm. are more common. Thank you very much, Doc. It is always a pleasure having you. Thank you. So that's all we had for you on this particular episode of Focus on Health. And we've been talking about cosmetic dentistry and of course we've been having experts here coming in to just tell us and also shed a few light on what is supposed to be happening and we'll be leaving you with the healthy you segment see you next time i've been your host Oma Onyango. bye Foods for healthy teeth. Cheese. Every time you eat a meal with breads, sweets, citrus, or soda, your teeth are exposed to tooth decay causing acid. Eating cheese after a meal can counteract the acid left behind by a meal, making it a great choice for dessert. Fish. It's important to get enough calcium in your diet in order to protect your teeth and gums from disease. However, your body can't absorb all that calcium if you don't have enough vitamin D. Fatty fish, such as salmon, is a fantastic source of vitamin D, allowing your teeth and gums to get the full disease-fighting benefits all calcium from the foods you eat. Water Saliva is made up of 99.5% water. Dehydration can thicken your saliva, which wrecks havoc in the mouth. Optimum levels of water in your saliva are essential to the breakdown of food, neutralizing bacterial acid, alarm morning breath, and preventing tooth decay. Fruits and vegetables. Don't have a toothbrush handy? High fiber fruits and vegetables are your next best option. Their high fiber content actually scrubs the teeth similar to the way your toothbrush might unstimulate saliva production because of the extra chewing they require.